A new cannabis research institute is coming to Chicago, run in partnership with the University of Illinois. And Bill Jackson is the executive director of the Discovery Partners Institute, which will operate the group. And here he is joining us live with a little information. Thanks for being with us. Nice to be here. All right. So this sounds like a really wide ranging project. If you would briefly explain the, the goals, what do you want to learn and what will be the result? Yeah, so the cannabis industry is already a fairly sizable industry across Illinois. Obviously, it still has federal, it's illegal federally, but the mission of our uh, cannabis uh, group is really to study a few main areas, mainly to do research around the life cycle of uh, cannabis, understand cultivation practices, you know, extraction technologies, methodologies, process innovations, cannabis and consumer health. Um, and actually making consumers aware of the issues around cannabis, the potential benefits and risks. There's a whole need for training. As this industry grows today, it's about a $900 million industry within Illinois. It's going to grow to billions of dollars across uh, the U.S. There's some estimates that say the industry will be between 50 and $100 billion in the next five years. And then there's a whole question around advocacy to make sure that the right legislation and uh, regulatory policies are in place, or at least well-informed uh, by uh, solid data and research. All right, you're really focused on, on the money that's involved here just uh, in the state of Illinois. Uh, there are other cannabis research research centers that are up and running uh, around the country. But talk to me about how they are funded differently, because that seems pretty important. Yeah, so one of the things our funding will come through the state, the city, and getting grant funding. What we won't do is we won't take money from in, uh, companies that are part of the cannabis industry uh, that are actually making money uh, and actually breaking federal laws. Okay. Tell me what the social equity component of this, because that has been a big part of the conversation. Yeah, I think one of the great things um, that the, the governor did when he signed uh, the law is he made social equity a big piece of the law, and that will continue. We will uh, look into that as needed. But uh, actually, to tell you the truth, I think the law actually is pretty uh, great in the sense of uh, sharing the revenues and the bases and distributing the cannabis outlets and uh, to uh, being thoughtfully uh, socially equitable. Uh, let me ask you, is this going to be something that is permanent? Does it have a, a fixed uh, a deadline here? What, what is the timeline to get things up and running and, and then start to produce results? Yeah, the, the objective is to be permanent. And the timeline is we've already got um, searches out for the institute leader, and hopefully that will be concluded before um, the end of March. And we've also got uh, searches out for support staff as well as researchers. Bill. We've already got quite a bit of interest on the research side. I think we have 20 researchers that have um, hmm. put in their resumes. Well, Bill, we thank you for the time that you put in to explain this to us. Bill Jackson, the executive director of Discovery Partners Institute. We'll catch up again. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Have a great holiday. You too.